Hey guys, this is SB and welcome back today to another video inside of my awesome world and as always first things first We're gonna add a new fish to the fish tank. So let's you know I don't know why I would jump off the balcony I suppose it's the quickest way the quickest way is the best way isn't it? So uh, we'll go and head down here You may have also just noticed something in third person, but I'm not gonna talk about it just yet oh, You've just seen it again. All right, I need to stop switching into third person I've realized I do it a lot more than I, uh, than I think it's supposed to be a secret I was about to switch in third person then but uh but I'm not going to. Right, so <laughs> the fish today is a red silver dasher. So we'll put him in here and he's going to dash off. You know, what? I'm going to put him in at the top, actually. Why Why not? Eh? Why Why? Uh, not put him at the top? So there he goes. The little dasher fella. Okay, he looks like he's uh, he's in his element there. And he's swimming to the bottom. <laughs> I don't know. A fish is a fish. You can only talk so much about him, guys. All right, just bear with me. Right, so we're going to go and uh, jump onto this lily pad. And we're going to go now to the next fish on the agenda. And that is to get my reward fish from Fred. So we're going ahead. Up to the top of these stairs. Perfect. And around the corner. And uh, around we go. So the outside world. I wonder if there's any foxes uh, knocking about. There was one. Asleep. Just over here. Should we have a little look? There it is. You see? A fox asleep. And it's gone. <laughs> well, it was nice while it lasted. Okay. Right. Anyway. There we go. Um, I, I kind of do like the fact that we're seeing little foxes all around the world. Anyway, I still think that's a, a fun little thing. So we'll go ahead and press that button. Drop down. And uh, time to make it through the difficulties of security. So we're going to get scanned and allowed through. And I went in third person again. I always go in third person in there though. So what do you expect? All right. Get our eye scanned. And we're allowed through. Perfect. Okay. And good morning, Sean. How are you doing, buddy? You all right? I'll take that as a no. He just ignored me. Okay. See you later, Sean. <laughs> and uh, oh, armor stand. I love the smoothness of it. It just looks cool, doesn't it? I think that's a really nice touch. Um, Right. Who else have we got here? Where's Miles the Mule? Blimey, we've... Ma what on earth are you doing in here, Miles? You're not a turtle. <laughs> all right, there's one rule I've always said, Miles, all right? You can, you, you don't go in the turtle's enclosure, and you've broken that rule, okay? Unacceptable. Come on. All right, you can you can get through there. Don't pretend that you can't. All right, back into your home. That's it. Stay put. I don't know. Fred's meant to be in control here, and you can't have turtles and uh, and a donkey, if you, or well, a mule, if you're going to do that. All right, Fred, look after him. I don't know. Right, uh, let me put that back. So today's challenge, drink the stew that you'll get from the brown mushroom. Okay, why do I not like the sound of that? Okay, but you know what? I'll just do it. If Fred says drink the stew from the brown mushroom, then I am going to drink the stew <laughs> from the brown mushroom. I mean, if that's what it takes to get a reward fish, then that's what it takes. Um, I suppose I'm going to need to get a bowl to do that, though, because, uh, yeah, I don't have any uh, any bowls at the moment. So, let me have a little look. What? Where did I... I definitely put them somewhere. I think I put them in a chest in my chest room. I made loads of bowls last episode. And, yeah, I think they're in that. To be honest, it would be a good idea for me to actually put a chest of bowls in the mushroom's enclosure. I think that might be my, my, my genius idea. I think I have a load of chests. Uh, not in this chest. Okay, is there any bowls in this chest? Why can I never remember where I put anything? Did I put them in here? Yeah, I put them in here because it makes no sense that they're in there. But <laughs> why is there a chest of chests and scaffolding? Don't ask me, guys. I have no organization. Uh, so that's everything. Yeah, I've got a chest. Perfect. I could do... Oh, I'll grab a bit of wheat as well. Why not? While we're here, because I think I have loads of wheat, don't I? Oh, as you can see, yeah, we definitely have loads of wheat. <laughs> so we'll do that. We'll have a quick munch on some cooked beef. All right. We're not going to be very hungry because we are... Well, we need to be hungry because we're about to drink you know, mushroom stew. So, uh, yeah, I'm guessing... It, it can't just be straight up mushroom stew. Fred must have some trick up his sleeve or something. It'll be like, I don't know, suspicious stew, knowing him. What kind of suspicious stew? Who knows, okay? So, yeah, if I just put the chest there, yeah, that's all right, isn't it? And then we can put... Uh, we can put wheat in there. And we'll just keep one bowl for myself. All right. Come on then, brown mushroom. What are you doing? Oh, I don't like this. So, here we have suspicious stew. Do I know what it's going to do? <laughs> Not got a clue. Right, let's uh, let's have it. Of course, of course, it it gives me the wither effect for how long? Okay, well, it's not that bad, but that would that just sums up Fred, doesn't it? Feeding me suspicious stew that withers me. I don't know. Right, um, I think I'm gonna do a bit of uh, a bit of breeding because I want to get another brown mushroom. Unfortunately, I did breed him before and only got a uh, I got another red mushroom, which is a bit boring. So this time, give me a brown one, please. There's a 50-50 chance. And, all right, I've got to keep the population of uh, of red mushrooms down, so where are you? Yeah, yeah, don't run from me. Yeah, don't take this personally. But you're, uh, <laughs> you're steak, mate. You're steak, all right? Yeah, we've got to keep the pop these populations down, ladies and gentlemen. All right. <laughs> the next time, don't let me down. Otherwise, you'll be next to go. Or maybe you. I don't know. One of you will be next to go. I need a brown mushroom. <laughs> I, I, I should just get another. I should wait for another thunderstorm. It'd be easier, wouldn't it? Right, uh, so, yeah, let me go and get my reward fish now. Did I just eat some steak? No, I didn't eat steak, okay. 
I thought I'd just eaten it, but it was it was uh, mushroom stew that I ate. Because I don't want to be eating things that get in the way of my delicious breakfast, which I guess is probably more like my lunch now. Uh, because, yeah, I haven't got around to, uh, to eating it. So I've got to be hungry before I can eat this. So I'm just going to keep doing a little bit of running around. And I can talk about what I'm going to talk today because there's actually been a minor, minor update to Minecraft. So they did the big update, you know, the one that added the brown mushrooms and the foxes and all sorts of other things. And they also, and in that update, they added, uh, like, character customization and capes and stuff like that. But they only worked on skins you'd, you'd bought and stuff. Um, and now they, they work on any skins. So, uh, yeah, what I've uh, what I've gone ahead and uh, and got now is a cape on me. So look at this. This is my uh, my cape. There we go. I've got the founder's cape and I'm wearing it in my world and uh, it looks amazing, as you can see. Look at that. It, it, it follows me when I run around. Uh, I think if I swim, it looks pretty cool as well. Look at that. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You can see underneath the cape if you want to now, you see. Look at that. All right, that's not how swimming should be done, but that's that. Okay. Um, yeah, so that, that's the... Uh, oh, man, I just did that again. <laughs> so yeah, that's the old... Uh, the old cape looks pretty cool, but there's a, there's a few more features to it, you know. Uh, let me enjoy my reward fish quickly. Delicious. Bit of steak to go with it. Very tasty. Um, yeah, also, to go with it, you can... If you put on a Lytra... If we're going to do that, there is some in this, uh, this in the chest here. Uh, we're going to be using the Elytra, actually, so I might as well grab that. Uh, okay, they can go there. And also, let's just grab a bunch of firework rockets. Why not? Okay, yeah, because um, what happens when I put my Elytra on? Ta-da! Look, it, it uses the cape to do it. And look, look at that. It's like it, it, it the pattern goes on. So it's not a bug because, look, like it looks like the texture is very much meant to be on because, like, yeah, there's a creeper on each wing. Like, how cool is that? I think it's uh, it's very cool indeed. So that's that's another thing. I now got customer likes. Look, it looks a bit honestly. It looks a little bit weird when they're closed up, but go like that, and it it, it looks ten times more amazing. So that's uh, that's what's uh, what's going on here. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm impressed with the cape. I like it. I think I'll be wearing it a lot more often. I'm also. I want you to bring me a gift, Sandy. Okay, when I sleep, when I wake up, and someone will be at the end of the bed. You dare go to sleep on the bed. Oh, you, you actually did... Okay, you brought me rotten flesh. I saw you go to sleep on the bed, though. I didn't even know they actually did that. It was a joke. Okay, thanks for the rotten flesh. I um, I don't want it. Oh, oh go on then. Scamp, you can have the rotten flesh. There you go. <laughs> One person's trash is another person's treasure. Okay, gonna get out of this door. Thank you very much. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's where we're at. Capes. Pretty, uh, pretty cool little thing. And uh, I'll probably be always wearing a cape. Now, hopefully they add more capes. I'd probably even buy capes, okay? If they start selling capes, I don't know if they have yet. Uh, yeah, I'd probably buy them as well, so knowing them, they will start buying them. So you might see me wearing other cape. Okay, I put this in the wrong slot after all that. Um, <laughs> hey guys, just dropping by again. I actually don't want to drop by you. I'll, I'll end up with more suspicious too. Um, so yeah, I thought we could uh, we could do a bit of flying. Look at that. Look at the yellow elytra. I'm sorry, but it just looks cool. It looks really, really cool, doesn't it? So it's pretty easy to do. You just, uh, to do this, you just go on your profile and go on uh, character customization if you ever want to do it. But you, you, you will have worked that out. And the founder's cape is also free, so... Anybody can have this cape. That's uh, that's a nice little uh, little touch, isn't it? Or if you want, yeah, cool custom elytra, you can also do that. So I'm th I was thinking, oh, I can take this out. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Took itself out. Uh, yeah, I was thinking we could just go on a bit of exploration, see what we can find, maybe find uh, some villages or whatever. Whatever's just on the menu, basically. We'll just have a little search around. We'll show off my cape to the world, see if see what people think. They might like it, they might not like it, and just, yeah, just just, just have an explore. A good old-fashioned, spur-of-the-moment explore. It's, you know, we never do that nowadays, do we? So, um, that's that's what I'm planning to do. See if I can find it. There's a village that, I think this is the uh, the unfortunate village that nobody lives at, actually, because nobody wants to live here, since it's it's only half a village, as you can see. Half a house. Not even half a house. You know what? Half a house would be nice for you. Um, yeah, oh, we, you know what? If there's nobody living here, so I just nick their, one of their bells. Yeah, let's nick them both, actually. Ooh, okay, I didn't expect that much power to come from. Yeah, we, you know, I'm no monster. I won't steal your cobblestone as well. Just you, just your bells. There we go. Thank you. Two bells, perfect. Um, I don't. Yeah, I don't think there's a single villager in this village. Let's have a look. Is there one hiding in here? No, nope, just a brewing stand. I mean, I don't really have any use for a brewing stand. Like, obviously, I have a use for a brewing stand, but I, I don't need brewing stands. <laughs> Not exactly hard to get them, is it? Right. Let's uh, do a bit of. Oop, and uh, there we go. Perfect. So that's like the uh, the boring village out of the way. Now. You know, we crack on and we try and find some more, something a bit more interesting than that. You know, maybe maybe some villages, a village with some life in it. That's that's what I'm hoping for anyway. And this looks quite promising up ahead. A nice little tiger village. Okay, we've got a snow-capped mountain house up here. This guy likes to live far away. Does even anyone even live here? Nope. Oh, it's a cartographer's home though. Yeah. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, well, thank you, bread. 
you know, not even worth my time. I'll go and deliver it to the villagers since no villager is ever going to get near this bread, are they? They all probably live down there, if any of them even live here. Oh, there he is. Farmer, Farmer Todd down there. Let's, uh, let's go and say hello to him, okay? Excuse me, Farmer, uh, Farmer Todd. I've, uh, got myself... There you go. Bread. No, 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 don't be shy. There you go. It's all yours, mate. He literally took it all as well. Right, what are you trading? What are you trading? Oh, I just gave you a load of bread and all you're offering me is beetroot. What kind of a scam is that? I'm not interested. Okay, is this another half a house up here? It looks like it could... Okay, you know, I can't even get out. You know, I'm flying up there, I've decided. <laughs> okay, second thoughts, we're walking. <laughs> I went back down. Anybody living it? Oh, this is a different kind of house. An underground bunker. I like it. They tell you what these guys think on the feet. These are ahead of the times. More bread. We'll go and feed it to more villagers. I'm going to leave the pumpkin pie there. I don't think I'm interested. Yeah, look at that. Underground bunker house. Wow, it's like a topsy-turvy house, actually. <laughs> top bigger than the bottom, eh? I, I wonder if you guys can get up to the top. Oh, there's a little door there. Hold on. Hang about. Okay, no, that was a bit boring, to be honest. Wasted my time. No, well, it's not going to stop me, though. This is a very vast village. What's this? Oh, someone who can't be bothered to get a job, eh? Yeah, I see you over there. I don't know, these lazy bones. No need for them in this society. So, yeah, we've got pumpkins and stuff there. Let's have a little... Oh, okay. Just bang me head slightly. <laughs> That's the old golden elytra, you know. You've got to adjust to them sometimes. And, um, well, I didn't. I haven't quite adjusted right to them yet. What have we got in here? More bread. You know what? I, I've ever told you guys how much I love bread. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Right, so we'll go... Oh, look at those. They just look good. I'm sorry. They just look really good. I'm I'm very, uh, I'm very impressed with them. I can't get up here, can I? I should, you know, I could do what to any normal person would do and build, but... I like to I like to do it the old fashioned way and just walk around a village. <laughs> okay, what have we got over here? We've got ourselves a sheepston. I tell you, there's not many villagers. Are you, hello, are you a uh well, what's your job? Alright, you wanna to talk to me or not? No. You are a, a weaponsmith. Ooh, what kind of weapons do you smith to me? Um yeah, there seems to be a little bit more I I'm, I'm Okay, that is not how you ring a bell. Anyone about? Hello? Nope, doesn't seem like it. There was one farmer, one villager that was too lazy to work. Is he still down there? Probably. Um, yeah, we've got all of this over here. To be honest, interesting village, but uh, not thriving enough for my liking. I'm, I'm going to go and have a little bit more of a search, see if I can find a, uh, a bit more of an exciting village. Now then, here is something kind of interesting, an ice spikes biome. I, 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 you can craft packed ice now, and I think you get packed ice in icebergs, but... Back in the day, ice spikes biomes used to be super rare. The only way you could actually get packed ice was by finding one of these. And, uh, well, we, f we found one, as you can see. So, it's a cool little place. And look, there's a village facing the worst of it. Look, at very small village, as you can see. But, wait, is this an old village? Have I been here before? No, maybe I... Hello. <laughs> you, must be, uh, you must be related to Fiona. Two Fiona sisters, eh? Well, uh, you can walk out, you know. Yeah, don't don't feel like you can't go outside. No, no, no. Uh, there you go. Get your feet cold. So this seems to be uh, an old village. I don't. I've not been here though, have I? An old village. Yeah. Look at oh, so, well, a blacksmith over it. So I must have. I must have generated in at some point. And <laughs> well, only part of it. <laughs> have I been here? Ah, I don't know. You know. I'll take more bread. Yeah. OG villages, eh? That's the few. Oh, hello. You want some bread, mate? Yeah. Look at that bread. Good for you. Very good for you indeed. So, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing I may have flown near it or something like that. I don't remember coming here, but I never really did anything for this village. But as you can see, yeah, it's uh, that's what it is. Yeah, good stuff. Well, I'm going to move on because, honestly, there's not much to see. Look at that, a bit of a polar bear over there. Oh, a ravine. Oh, very, very uh, cool scenarios here. It has to be, is that an igloo? Is that a mountaintop igloo by a village? This has never been seen before. Is it two igloos? Is it three... Wait, what is it? Wait, I've never... Wait, is this an igloo village? I've never... I didn't even know these were in the game. Oh my goodness, I... I've never found you guys before. Really? I don't... I don't think I've ever been to, like, an actual proper snowy village like this. Was it a nice village? It's not like... Yeah. A cold tiger village or a cold village? I've never... I didn't know they lived in igloos. Well, I'm learning something every day. Man, this could have done with its own dedicated video to it. <laughs> oh, well, look at you. You're almost as tall as the snow. Well, this is cool. Oh, he's got his earmuffs on as well. You yeah, keep warm, fella. You keep warm. This is, uh, this is cool. I, to be honest, this probably doesn't warrant an entire dedicated video, actually, in hindsight. Yeah, so those ones on the mountain are in Igloo. That's... I didn't... I never knew that. Did, did you guys know that? Have you ever found anything like this? Probably not, because the ones down here, yeah, are... Uh, are just normal. Yeah. Although there's a few. There's, he also lives in an Igloo. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. The butcher. Oh, what's going on in here? Hmm. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Hello, good sir. What will you sell to me? 
Carrots. Oh, let me uh, let me harvest those carrots for you, eh? Yeah, don't don't strain yourself. Don't put your back out. You got any more carrots to plant? Hey, have some bread. More bread where that came from, mate. Look, there you go. What have you planted again? Oh, more carrots, thanks. I was just planning to trade these back to you, actually. You want some carrots, mate? There you go. Have some carrots. You got any, you got any more carrots for me? Oh, that must have been wheat. Sorry, mate. Oh, look, you've got bread. No, you're, no, you're not having it. You're not having me emerald back. Put that bread away. I don't know. You can't trust these villagers. They'll do anything for money. Oh, what about you, sir? Oh, you want potatoes? Well, unfortunately, I don't stock potatoes. This is cool. I'm impressed with this, you know. Did not know that they had... Look at them out of igloos. So they could just do some better flooring in here and then they'd be sorted, wouldn't they? What about in here? Okay, this is like <laughs> Nobody seems to live in those houses either. Do. Oh, we got beef. Oh, well, this is cosy, isn't it? I tell you. I, I, you know what? I'd live here. Red and blue carpet. They don't tell you what. These villagers know how to live, don't they? I could most definitely live here. And then there's these poor guys living in little rubbish houses like that. And then there's... Oh, well, look at you. Hey, you're having a happy, happy time, mate. You nearly fell off that mountain. Um, Yeah, very, very nice indeed. What else have we got around here? Anything uh, anything of excitement? Potatoes. I could offer... Oh, and a cat as well. I could offer some... Yeah, that's it. Get your son to bed. It's going dark, mate. Yeah, it is. It, it's no... Uh, it's it's no secret it is indeed going dark. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, I didn't go in either of these either. I tell you, there's no chest to steal from. What's that? A block of snow. Ah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> yeah, that's just what I wanted. Beetroot soup, though. That's good for warming the veins. You may not know this, guys, but very good for warming the old... Uh, the old, uh, yeah, body. What about, it? what's in here? What's in this one? I tell you what, not a lot of beds. I might be sleeping in an igloo for the night. That'll be a novelty. Um, <laughs> don't do that every day. What have we got in here? Oh, no, nothing there. Anything over here at all? Oh, no. What about here? More chests? An emerald. Well, that makes it all worth it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm going to, I think I'm going to be sleeping in this. I don't want any, uh, oh, no, just give me a bed. Come on, bed for the night, guys. There's got to be one in here, aren't there? Yeah, I just don't want any trouble to fall on these villagers, so that's that's why I'm uh, I'm sleeping. Because <laughs> if I don't do that, yeah, they'll be. Oh. Well, it's just nothing but a dirty trap, guys. I've been had. I don't know. Hey, eh? these villagers. Ah, oh, well, I'm gonna enjoy me, uh, me me beetroot soup anyway. Delicious. All right. Yeah, they give you your This is what you get. Don't sleep in an igloo, guys. That's all I'll say. <laughs> You'll get double crossed. Okay. Right. I think it's uh, it's a good time to move on then. So we've gone. Over that way, and uh, yeah, I suppose we just we just carry on in this direction. See what we can spot. Anything exciting other than pumpkin? Another village. I tell you what, they're left, right, and centre here, but I don't see any igloos. What? Oh, my goodness, there's about six villages here. One there. One there. Are these old villages or new villages? Yeah, they look a bit old to me. You know, this looks like a classic village. Yeah, could be. You know, classic village with uh, new thing. Yeah, this is an old village. I must have generated, I must have flown by and generated this in before the village update. Tell you what, I've done too much flying about. Yeah, look at this. In the ground village. Tell you what, it, it must be tough living down here. Have you ever been outside, mate? Yeah, it looks like he hasn't. He's gone star crazy. Okay, I tell you what. Don't worry. I'll bust you out in a jiffy. There we go. Feel sunlight. It's, it, this could be the first time he's ever been outside. Uh, what should we do? Let's, uh, <laughs> I should probably put a door down for him, but don't worry. I'll sort you out, mate. All right. Yeah, bit of dirt there. Bit there. Okay. There we go. You know, nothing's too much trouble when it comes to me, okay? I'm always happy to help out the less fortunate villagers that happen to not be able to build a, a normal house, okay? Oh, sorry. Come on. Come on out. This is what outside's like. No, don't go back down there. What's it looking down there? Don't push into people. Oi! Cut it out. That's right. Yeah. Be nice. <laughs> All right. How can I scam this villager? Hello, good villager, sir. You want carrots? Oh, man, well, it just so happens that you've been planting carrots all day, you idiot. <laughs> Whoa, rabbits at the carrots as well. Yeah, I, I was just warding them off for you. Don't you dare pick these up as well. All right, what have you got for me? All right, have you got any more carrots about? No, what about you? Oh, fantastic. Okay, lovely, lovely stuff. Sorry, mate, did not, not mean to punch you. Just stealing this guy's carrots. Do you want some more carrots? Uh, oh, you're a, you're, a, you're a crafty fisherman, aren't you? What about you? Come on, I'll do you a deal. Just give me it just for five carrots. It's all right. Somebody's planting them over here as well. <laughs> we've got we've got carrot skull, all mate. Don't you worry about me, okay? I'm just gonna steal your own carrots and plant them. Not a problem. So there's quite a uh, a lot of fishermen. What do you do? I like your hat. <laughs> You're a shepherd. You want you want wool? Well, that's not happening. Right, come on then. Oh, we can oh, look at that. 
I mean, you're happy, I'm happy. You've got carrots, your own carrots. I've got bread. I mean, that's just, that's the dream there, ladies and gentlemen. And look at that in the distance. Is that, I see, I think, do I see a blacksmith? Do I see two blacksmiths? I think I just see one blacksmith, actually. But, well, one blacksmith is better than, okay, this is not even a blacksmith. Is it? <laughs> oh, it is a blacksmith. Tell you, you, you stop playing the old version of Minecraft, you soon will go out of the loop. Tell you what, what have we got in here? Come on. Wow. I've probably been here, raided it, and... Whoa! Hey, hey, get out of here. There's no room on my watch for these kind of things. Are we all all right? Any panickers? I think we're all okay, aren't we? All right, brilliant stuff. Do you know I've had enough of scamming you guys? Yeah, you, you, you've, you've, you've come into enough trouble. None of you have hay bales about either. That would have been a good way to uh, to scam you, wouldn't it? So, there was like three villages here. Oh, is that an igloo? Well, this is a real igloo. I don't think this is a... Uh... Well, there will be a villager down the bottom. We can cure him. Yes, let's do that, okay? Let's go. Oh, have I been down here? Wait, is this? Hmm. Maybe I have been down here. Uh, this must be when why I've been in the vicinity. Oh, I've clearly been down here. I've built. Oh, this must be where I cured. I did a villager. I, I, I remember doing this villager rescue. Yeah. It was snowing, though. A different area. Yeah, I did some sort of villager villager rescue mission. Oh, well, I didn't do a very good job at the rescue mission because there, <laughs> there was a villager that was underground. Yeah, and I sent him up through here. I remember that. It was about a year ago. And I can't remember the name of the video. It was something like Villager Rescue or something very creative. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I got the villager home. <laughs> yeah, but obviously, I didn't really look out for the best interest of the people in the village because they were stuck underground still. Well, I did, you know, I did most of the work. All right, I want to go this way, so. Carry on in this direction. So, well, that's a blast from the past, isn't it? A trip down memory lane. No wonder it's, uh, it was, it's, well, it's generated as an old village and it's all looted and all that stuff. Um, was this one the same? Was this a new village? Oh, this is a new village. Oh, well, it's so close, another one's generated, so I didn't... Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Uh, any villagers live here? Or is this... This is a bit of a ghost town, this one, isn't it? I could move some villagers over in, on another day. What have we got here? Oh, more beetroot soup to warm me bones and more bread. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Just going to keep feeding it. You know what? Have some rotten flesh from me. On the house. Oh, sorry, have a firework as well. On the house. Right, let's, uh, let's have a look. Anything here? Just a bed. I tell you, if you ever wanted a bed, you know where to go. So we've got... We've got uh, golems. But apparently we've got another... Oh, I like the designs. I tell you what. <laughs> how, how am I having so much fun just simply uh, exploring villages? You know, it's not really meant to be like this, is it? Okay, well, it does look cool, but it does seem like this is a bit of a deserted village other than one poor iron golem. Who lives in here? Is it just you in the world, mate? It's a tough life. You know, there's, there's, there's flourishing villages over there. Well, I know you're on your own, but that's not going to stop me from scamming you. So, oh man, you don't have any wheat, do you? Well, it looks like it will stop me from scamming. No wonder you want me to trade wheat for you. You don't have any. Look, all potatoes. <sighs> what a rubbish, uh, what a rubbish farmer he is. Okay, well, uh, I'll see you later, mate. I'm moving on again. Okay, there'll be another village in like two centimeters at this point. I suppose it is easy to spot villages out here because well, not a lot else generates in, in these kind of biomes and it's just the, the 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 nature of them. They're very barren are these uh, these ice plains. So yeah, that's probably where where it's all coming in from. I mean, is there anything else? Anything else to explore? I mean, it looks like we've covered it all, pretty much. I mean, I'll have a little... I'll, I'll land on this mountain, why not? That's a oh, lava pit there as well. Down there, interesting. Oh, and, and, and there we come out of it, into the land of the Acacias. And I think, you know, that's been a successful bit of exploring. Look at One last look at me, a light in action. Beautiful. And as they land, da-da. So what we can do if we want to see our cape again like normal. We just got a cape, which looks less grand than the but the, the pattern looks less weird as well, which is... Uh, you know, all in all, it probably works out better like that, doesn't it? Oh, look at these snow-capped acacia trees. It's actually very rare is to see that, isn't it? You know, in fact, you'll, you'll never see it in the wild, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You've seen it in the wild now, anyway. Look at that. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. So I'm impressed with the capes. I'm looking forward to seeing what other uh, things like that uh, they add. Hopefully, they add other capes and stuff in the game. Looking forward to, uh, to all of that. But hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And hopefully, I'll see you guys next time.